Hello, I'm about to do a pick a card reading for those of you who are looking to move, make a change in your life. Could be Cancerian, maybe wanting to go back home, go back to something in your past energy, right? Maybe your past wants to come back to you. So we're going to see what kinds of changes to expect moving forward. Um, so for those of you who want to move, we're going to look at what kind of changes to expect coming up for you with the pick a card reading here, okay? So go on, examine this card. That's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's usually a past love connection. That was true, that was pos a true connection too. Maybe it's young love, hmm, young love. Maybe someone wants to go back to their love in the past, all right? So this is the overall message for the entire session here. Past energy, soul of soul connection too. This could be you loving on yourself. I always like to say that when I see this six of cups energy, it's you giving yourself that attention because like they say you give yourself what you want and then it comes back it comes to you so you have to be able to give to yourself all right so let's get started now what you're going to do is to focus your intention on one of the decks here one two three and then you're going to pick one that resonates most with you right so you're going to pick either your favorite number a lucky number your birthday a number that works well with you use your intuition to choose and then we'll continue when you're ready. So take a deep breath and choose. What kind of changes to expect in the future? So those of you who are looking to move, ready? So those of you who chose number one, let's see the changes to expect, if any. Okay, this could be something, someone making an advancement towards you, someone who finds you attractive. This could be your past person that you want to go back to that found you attractive or this could be a person from your past looking to come back to you. This, is, this could also be physically moving but not moving far, you know. Moving to, 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 to be with someone who you find attractive, I feel. So you could definitely be traveling. And this could be walking distance as well. <laughs> um, so for some of you, this is, you're going to be moving, but you're, you're walking. And maybe you're not moving very fast right now to go back. You're not in a hurry to go back to this connection. Or this change is not really in a hurry to come to you. There's also some message coming forth to you. Could be from a person. This is an, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The fire sign moves very fast, so it could be coming, but not very fast, right? It's, it moves fast, but not very fast. It moves steadily. So, as I said, it's like that steady pace of coming. So it could be something that you're passionate about coming through for you and that the change that you're going to be experiencing in the near future. All right, let's get to number two. Are you ready? What kind of changes to expect? Oh my, intuition. That is the High Priestess card. This could be a motherly energy coming into you. Like I feel like maybe some of you, your mother is coming to visit you. So I definitely feel that motherly energy here. And this is a mother that is very involved in your life. <laughs> this mother wants to know if you've eaten and everything. And wants to know that you're emotionally safe feeling good emotionally that's that motherly energy right so this person could be very nosy as well wants to be up in your business that's the motherly energy very intuitive they know what's going on even without you having to tell them this person could be i feel thinking about you maybe want connecting with you energetically think about telepathy right because if this could also, this is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so very intuitive. For example, I have a relationship with my mother and she loves to say, she, I, she loves to tell me she, that she just dreamt about me and she can feel when something is wrong with me. She'll just give me a call to say, hey, are you okay? I feel like, what's up? So that's that, that, is, that kind of a connection with someone. I don't feel like this person is moving into you. I feel it's more of an emotional shift. Maybe you looking back in the past, 
looking at something a connection with your mother this could if it's not a mother this could be a daughter's energy too right wanting to find balance maybe wanting to heal i feel like something emotional is going to transpire for you here with someone that is very special to you okay so let's get to number three i know you've been waiting all right let's get started what changes to expect in your future a celebration oh my something to celebrate now this could be a marriage and this is with a water sign here look at this some of you could be getting proposed to it could be from your ex returning or you could be returning you could be a water sign or your person could be so this is celebration of a marriage possibly a success it could be a promotion it could be you completing your book so whatever you're doing, it's going to be successful. That's the change. You're going to be celebrating. I feel like you, it's as if someone was writing a book or working on a project for a long time, for weeks. I feel like weeks. And then it's finally over and you're now free because maybe you've been focusing a lot on this project. And now you're free. You can go out and have fun. And you can say, yes, I did it. It's like overcoming a milestone too. Putting something, manifesting something and really celebrating it it's coming into fruition for you so you're going to be celebrating yeah happy for you number three mm -hmm. amazing yes yeah, so whatever you're working on keep working on it so that is that and for those of you who want further clarification we're going to be pulling one card from each deck to get further clarification for each story here so starting with card number one here the page of wands we said maybe someone finding you attractive a fire sign wanting to return in your life i did say this person is moving very fast but this this is the card of not moving very fast contemplating maybe wanting to come back i feel like this person is like hmm, hmm should i go back hmm really in that feeling of should i move in or not <laughs> Should I move in? Maybe it's, maybe it's someone wanting to physically move in with you or you want this person to move in, but it's not coming. Um, it, it's not, it's not moving very fast right now. I was saying that earlier, right? So that's the kind of connection. We do have another representation of fire sign here with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like per this person is just really sitting there looking at all that they have accomplished. Want just being grounded, maybe being stubborn too, not wanting to move their feet and get going. I feel like this person is not all the way following their heart. It's more of a desire, a desire because this is the lover card as well. It's like they maybe they're contemplating wanting to come back because they feel attracted to you. But maybe they know in their heart space it's not the right move yet to make and that's what's keeping them from moving forward. Okay, so let's get to number two. Further clarification for number two, the High Priestess card. The Ten of Pentacles, brand new beginnings, wealth, brand new beginnings in wealth. Someone could be making an offering, an offer to you here, and this could be financially. And this could be coming from a water sign, as I said earlier. I feel like this could be money. Maybe you're getting an inheritance from your mommy, from your parents maybe your daughter, your child, because this feels like that kind of a relationship between a mother and a daughter. Maybe someone is sending you a gift card. This feels like a gift as well. So that's a change to expect. I feel like definitely you could just look and a gift card pops up and it has some money in it, like a thousand dollars or something like that. I feel like it could be a surprise as well. Mm, well, it's a gift. I feel like they could be shipping something to you, like ordering it online and then it turning up at your door and it's from your mother or so, somebody that you love. And that's the energy because maybe they've been thinking about you. And I feel like it's, you're going to see what happened. Like they're, you're going to know that this person was thinking of you and then all of a sudden a gift. Or you are thinking of this person and all of a sudden something turns up from them. It's like a new beginning it's a financial is something to do with the money here and value in yourself too I feel like your mother gifted you with a lot of love energy here 
showed you love and affection the real way a real mothering energy here okay so those of you who chose number three let's get further clarification for you the moon card oh I normally the moon card means like their secrets something is coming to light I feel like it's a good thing I feel like it's a good thing it's gonna cut and it's causing you to celebrate whatever is being revealed it's a good thing for you I feel you're very intuitive you could have a nature of I don't want to say which you know but you, you I like feel like you have magical a magical essence toward you working with the moonlight this also feels like a ceremony dancing in the moon this is Pisces cancer Scorpio energy mysterious secretive so something is going to be revealed and it's going to cause you to celebrate or something is ending a cycle is ending something new coming into you. it feels like a blessing too something stripped away a veil a veil of illusions cast over you and it's going to bring in something for you to celebrate it's going to be emotionally fulfilling I feel as if you're aligning with your true essence here okay so this is what I have for you I do hope you found delightful messages in this reading that are able to resonate with you if you do let me know um, give this video a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel thank you so much it's much appreciated and we'll keep it going along this journey together um, I'll see you next time much love thank you so much bye